There are very simple things we can do with the way we live, the way we act, and the way we consume that will help reduce our global impact on the environment. About 80% of North America's contribution to climate change comes from household activities like heating and cooling our home, the food we eat, and you know, getting to and from work. There's a lot of good news in all of this because if those things are what cause 80% of the problem, there are lots of little things we can do to help fix that. First things first, it's about how efficient your home operates. A lot of homes are very leaky. The windows have leaks or your attic is not insulated and you could have a home energy audit. So you can have someone come, there's tons of rebates associated with this, where someone comes and sees where the leaks are. So you could fix those leaks and have a more efficient home. In terms of consumption and the food we eat, there are different sort of carbon footprints associated with each kind of food. And meat and dairy, they've got a much higher carbon footprint because it takes so much energy to raise the meat and the meat is then processed and transported. There's a whole set of uh, carbon emissions associated with it. So you want to try and eat it as local as you can, consume a little bit of less meat, think about what we buy, where we buy it, and what's behind our choices. Where you live has a very, very big impact on the environment. If you live in a city that's densely populated, you already have a much smaller environmental footprint because you have existing resources there, you're very close to your work, you can probably walk to most of the things that you need to go to. So it's if you can choose and if you have the choice to live in the city, it's a much greener alternative. And make sure you vote. Who you choose to lead your community and country will have a huge impact on environmental policies and shaping the future.